rounding decimals. When we are going to round decimals, we're going to follow the same steps used for rounding whole numbers. The only difference is that we're going to get rid of extra zeros. So let's take a look at two example problems. We have 4 and 32 hundredths, and we've been asked to round it to the nearest tenth. So just as in rounding whole numbers, your first job is to find this place value that you were told to round to. And I'm going to use the rounding rocket. So this is my ones place, then is the tenths place, so that is the rocket. And this guy behind him is mission control. And the rocket looks back to the mission control, and the mission control does this countdown. Two, one, zero. Well, that's not a big enough countdown to blast off, so it just sput the rocket just sputters. The rocket doesn't go anywhere. And it makes the two turn into a zero. Then we have four, the, the number that would be a result is four and thirty hundredths. Well, this zero doesn't have to be here, and it's, it's, it's an extra zero. Three tenths, this number is the same as thirty hundredths. So we can just get rid of this zero, and this, this number rounded to the nearest tenth would be four and three tenths. I know that I've gotten it right because it ends, this, my answer ends in the tenths place and I was asked to round to the nearest tenth. Here's another example, 68 and 597 thousandths and I've been asked to round it to the nearest hundredth. So I'm going to find the hundredths place, here it is with a nine, and I'm going to look back to mission control which is the seven. And the seven does a countdown, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero and the rocket blasts off. Now this is one of those special cases that we talked about where you can't really blast the 9 off to a 10 in, right inside the 10, inside the hundredths digit, so you have to bump up the next one. So this 5 is going to go up to a 6 and then all of these are going to become zeros. So you have 68 and 600 thousandths. And then we're going to erase the extra zeros that have come after the decimal. And now on this one I told us, told you that we would check and we were rounding to the tenth and our answer was in the tenths. This one is different because we had that nine that had to bump up. So um, if it had not been a nine here, it would have ended in the hundredths place. But this made it go to the tenths place and we got to get rid of the extra zero in the hundredths place. One of the trickiest things that I've noticed for fourth graders is locating the place value to round to. It seems that many of you all know the um, steps to round, but you get confused on finding the place values when we're talking about decimals. So I want to show you a cool trick that a teacher friend of mine um, taught me that might help you find the place values if you're still confused on which is which. So the steps are put a 1 under the digit in the 1's place. It's always to the left of the decimal. So find the decimal and go to the left one spot. That's always the ones place. So we're going to put a one there. Okay. Add zeros under the digits to the right of the decimal to help you see the place value names. So we're going to do it one at a time. I'm going to add a zero under this digit that's to the right of the decimal. And then if I look like this, that shows me that that nine is in the tenths place. Then if I add another zero and I draw my number, my line like this, that seven is in the hundredths place. And if I add another zero and make another little line, we see that that four is in the thousandths place. So that trick, if you want to always find the ones place and then add zeros, that trick may help you determine the place value names uh, behind the decimal. One more kind of common problem that you're going to see are problems asking you to round to the nearest whole number. Um, this means the same thing as rounding to the ones place. Whenever you see round to the nearest whole number, your brain should just think ones place immediately. Whole numbers are counting numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. They are, uh, that word whole means that there's no pieces, there's no decimals. So if you were told to the round to round to the nearest whole number, your answer should not have a decimal point or anything after the decimal point. So let's round 3 and 759 thousandths to the nearest whole number. 
If we look at it on a number line, here are count, a, a number line of counting numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I've placed 0 and 759 thousandths of, on the number line about where it would go, it's easy to see that it's closest to the 4. So its nearest whole number is a 4. But if we were going to show that, we would round to this place value. The 7 would tell the 3 to go up to a 4, and we would have all those zeros, but we would could get rid of them and the decimal point to just become a 4. Same thing here. Um, here is 2 and 14 hundredths. I'm going to round to the nearest whole number, which is the 1's place. This 1 tells the 2 to stay the same. I would then have a decimal and zeros here, but I can erase them. So the nearest whole number to 2 and 14 hundredths is just 2.